So I'm going to attempt to make one of these um, 18650 battery packs for the Fat Shark because uh, this is what happened to mine. Uh, yeah, and it doesn't last all that long either, so it's pretty useless. Um, so I've got all I need here, I think. The, the batteries, shrink map, new balance lead, um, a discharge cable, which I, this was for like one for a guitar or something, which uh, was the same size, which is pretty good, 90 degrees. So a fully charged fat shark battery up, so um, just to confirm what the reading is, is it 8.3 volts? So I'm going to turn, uh, so I've got a furious FQE module, so I'm going to have that on um, and the DVR on and uh, time how long it lasts before it starts to before the goggles shut off. Okay, so the uh, time is going, and uh, goggles are just showing static and recording. So uh, yeah, let's see how long they go for. So it's actually lasted longer than I was expecting, um, over an hour. Okay, so it finally stopped at an hour twenty. 29, which is actually quite surprising. That's the last time it started beeping on me when I was out flying, it only lasted for like another five minutes. Um, the voltage is 7.14, so there's probably quite a bit left in that cell still. I'll discharge it and see how many milliamp hours were still left in it. Well, it didn't take much to discharge it, it only had three milliamps left in it, according to this. So, the first thing I'll do is just sand down the pads on the, the top so the solder will stick better. Okay, so just scuffed up the surface a little bit so the solder should stick on them. Um, so putting the solder on is probably the only really potentially dangerous bit of this. It's got a fire extinguisher just in case. Um, but yeah, I don't think, think it's going to be a, a problem. Um, I'm also going to take out this um, the voltage sensor out of this, the so I can put that onto the, my battery. Okay, so I might have to get solder on both sides and put some solder wick between the two. So you connect um, one of the negatives to a positive. It was quite hard to get the solder to stick on it, harder than I thought. I had to sand it and then like scrape it as well to get. Some, scratch up the surface quite well. Okay the battery is basically done. Um, on the balance lead the middle port you put to the negative on there. Um, on the top it's a bit of a rat's nest there but um, basically connect all the negative cables to the negative and the positive one to the positive. Um, I made the discharge cable a bit long maybe but uh, no, it's okay. And I've wired up the the voltage indicator as well, just to the positive and negative on the top. Okay, it's so now I've got a shrink wrap around it. Uh, it's basically done. I'm just going to cut out a channel so it fits in the goggle strap. Um, but yeah, it's looking pretty good. Notch is cut out and it's ready to go. So I'll do a test to see how long this one lasts after I charge it up. Okay, so it's managed to put almost 2000 milliamps in. Okay, so now it's time to see how long the uh, new battery lasts. So starting voltage 8.3. So let me start it going. Oh, so it's now been going for longer than the fat sharp battery. And uh, it's still recording? Yeah, it's still recording. And you see that there's still two lights on. So, uh, yeah, it's going well. Okay, so we've uh, finally started beeping. Maybe three hours and 40 minutes. 
If it lasted as long as, uh, as the fat shark did well beeping, then I'd expect it to go to four hours. Okay, so it's finally stopped beeping at uh, five hours, 20 minutes. Um, although worryingly, I've just put the voltmeter on and it's, it's five volts. I'm not quite sure how that happened. I, f I figured out the, uh, I, I thought the goggles were cut out um, after they went below like seven for too long. Um, so I better go and put this on charge. Okay, well it's uh, quickly gone back up to six. So yeah, hopefully it's okay. It wasn't below for yourself for too long. Um, I guess what it must be is that the, the fat shard battery must have an over um, a voltage cut off on it. So oh, I guess that's that's the difference. Um, okay, well it's lasts a heck of a lot longer anyway. <laughs> I guess just don't let it beep for uh, an hour and a half when it when it starts going off. So these batteries are rated to thirty four hundred milliamps, I think, and the way this is going, it's going to reach over three thousand, I think. Um, I'll post the final figure in the description. So I'll just do a quick weight comparison between the bevy fat shark and the custom battery so the fat shark 90 grams and the custom battery feels a bit heavier let's have a look so we can get it on there Hundred and five, six. Yep, so it's a little bit heavier, but for the time difference, uh, I take that.